Meiti is a dual name. It means that my my ancestral Aboriginal grandmothers married um, uh, French Western settlers that came to Canada and married. So sometimes I like to romanticize the image, but bottom line, yes, son Meiti. Um, I don't always suffer racism based on having lighter skin, but I do, um, I'm blessed with that connection regardless, you know, whether, whether it be with my disability, whether it be with my sensitivity, whether it be with my crazy sense of humor, that we're all in this mess together and let's help one another. I should say our case study is with an agency in Vancouver. It's called Warriors Against Violence Society. And what they're doing is taking traditional teachings of holism and wellness, yeah. and they're teaching families with anger and violence from the negative impacts of colonization. The agency is teaching them how they can cope. This is why you're angry. This is who you're angry at. But you do still need to take responsibility. And with our tools to help you diminish violence in your family, we can move forward. Um, I am blessed to be, I am a strong writer, and I mentor students and teach students. And in my dissertation writing, what I found that, um, Upon reflection, I, I actually have written my entire dissertation in the first person present tense so that my, what we, you know, when I think backwards, say, what have I done here? I have made a community between myself, my reader, and our participants. We're all in this together. When you're in the first person, even talking about the past um, trauma and issues, but there's nowhere to hide. We're in this together, and we're all traveling that journey. Um, their work with me, I don't use the academic. I don't say my findings. I don't say my, my an analysis. I say participant teachings, which are AKA my findings and then researcher learnings which is aka my analysis of the work um and when i was saying about that uniqueness and quirkiness i mean i i've had some great moments where other researchers they would they might bite their lip they might go oh my god did she really say that you know, for example, one participant was saying he was really excited he's off to Toronto at Christmas to see his, his partner's children. And I said to him, I said, um, so-and-so, I said, is this the first time you've flown without handcuffs and a trench coat over <laughs> your wrists? And he jumped right in. He said, oh, yeah, Con Air. I've done that lots, too. But this time I won't be... <laughs> I won't be under restraints. <laughs> so things like that. I mean, it's just I know about needles and sharps and turkey traps up their arms and, and, and you know, going, Patrick, you're reading the wall behind me. And he's like, oh, yeah, I learned that in prison. And I'm reading all the shadow. Mm -hmm. Often, you know, beyond the production of any report mm -hmm. or gathering yes. of data. Yeah. Uh, and a sense of being part of uh, an agent for change somehow. Mm -hmm. yeah. So may yeah. I ask you, what, what do you want to do now with the work? And what yeah. are the challenges that you foresee there? Um, one of the things I would like to do is I need to go back into my work. And now that my dissertation's over with, the magic day when I submit is August uh, 5th here, when I submit it to the Faculty of uh, Grad Studies at UBC. After which I can delve into my dissertation and throw out the citations and all the parentheses and just like toss away and bring it even further down to user-friendly language. And then, 
um, 200 pages, who in their right mind is going to sit down and read that? Yeah. Living on, on the, you know, the margins of the street. So I think now my role is to um, whittle it down and find the nugget of a toolkit. A toolkit for violence intervention. A toolkit that goes through the medicine wheel, as I've done throughout this study, where it's user-friendly. Um, one of my values in writing is if I cannot pronounce a word, it does not go in my writing. So you'll never find epistemology or um, axiology. You know, I mean, it took me three years to pronounce pedagogy. <laughs> so, so the longest word in my dissertation is, I think I got away with methodologically speaking, that was it.